Tires, hello my loves and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for clicking on the video. We're going to tap into your bonus reading. You can have Taurus in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or North Node. Please make sure you like the video. Drop a comment below if it resonates. And hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload another video. That's just for the collectibles. Taurus. Yes, I do offer personal readings. You can click the description box below. Visit my website to book your personal reading. see what messages am I getting for you. Something about child services. <clears throat> Kids at risk of being taken or is about to reporting something, neglect, abuse. Oh. Someone here could be moving. Did someone get kicked out and now they're trying to report you to child services? Your energy is fluid. Reverse the roles as need be. Are you reporting somebody to child services or are they reporting you? Somebody's big mad in hater energy. shocking how people are so quick to bring their own down to be in such a grimy energy jumping to conclusions without all of the details who is this who's doing this incarcerated locked up in and out of jail about to be Inside school, getting a closer look in your business, waiting, dirt digging, transformation, things are changing in your life, cyberbullying, codependency. Yeah, man, this is awful. This is raggedy. It's your reading, so I'm going to read it for you. Um, flip the roses, need be. Someone got kicked out. Pissed off. The thing, though, is that whoever is doing this, this is not their first time. So, if you're allowing this type of energy in your life, Taurus, it's because you're allowing it. Like, this person has crossed you before. And you went back. You allow, you stand for the toxicity. So, it, 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 it it's standing. This person is like... I'm getting tit for tat. Somebody could have called child services on them. They thought it was you. So now this person is trying to get you locked up. Somebody's lying. So now you're under investigation or they're under investigation. Trying to figure out what's going on. You're waiting. Okay, you're waiting on the outcome of this investigation here. Somebody is looking for dirt on you to try to give to the people. Like they're trying to find any and everything to give to these people. Things are changing. You're evolving. You know? You will get past this situation. Now here's the thing. Either you're going to learn your lesson and grow and never put yourself back in the situation again. Or you're going to continue to go through it. I feel like doing this transformation, you're realizing... That you can no longer put yourself through this situation. That you can no longer deal with this type of energy. Someone is creating fake accounts on social media. Talking noise about you. Or could be slandering your name. And people are talking noise about you on social media. Commenting under your posts. This person is codependent. the drama this person is codependent so 
if they were staying with you, you know, they're, they're, they're losing their stuff because they getting kicked out. And they need you. Who else gonna be, who else gonna be they, uh, <laughs> who else can they freeload off of? Vice versa. What? Okay, let's clarify transformation. Transformation. You're cutting off contact. Cutting off communication with this person. Moving forward. I feel like you have children with this person. You're only focused on the kids. Let's clarify incarcerated. incarcerated somewhere here the person who gave up the person who was tired of fighting the person who was just trying to be cool calm collective you catching the crappy end of the stick somebody's going AWOL there's a message on the home page it's called um, you're not you're not physically blind you're spiritually blind I urge everybody to listen to that message. It's rough. And I remember when I did it. It's rough. But whoever you are, you need to listen to that message. It's pinned on the main page. I'm going to uh I'm going to pin it in the comments below. For you. You don't deserve this. You, you're tired of going through what you were going through. You're like, hey, let's just be friends. Let's do what we got to do for the sake of what we got going on. It's somebody just like, man. Yeah, I got you waiting. Let's clarify waiting. What's 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 happening? Got you under investigation. Could have said you did something to the children. Knowing that you didn't. Why would you ruin somebody's life like that? I don't get y'all. <coughs> <clears throat> not saying physically y'all <clears throat> the people that would do something this this dumb <clears throat> waiting <clears throat> so it's like this person did this to you <clears throat> you're trying to move forward to restore balance in your life. However this may go. But this person really thinks that you're going to come back to them. After they've done this. This is a new low. Look what is, I, I'm hearing like this person could have saw something. Uh, thought they saw something. Like they jumped to conclusions about something that was happening. And you waiting. you like as soon as they clear my name. This shit gonna be over. You're gonna be coming right back in trying to get, you know what I'm saying, get back cool with me when you find out I'm telling the truth. I don't know, dog. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna tell you this. As a mother, as a professional parent, I think y'all be giving people too many passes. Y'all give the wrong people passes and the right people you don't. If something was to happen and they walked in and they seen some or thought they seen something or felt a certain type of way, it becomes a tricky situation, but it's when you sit down with both parties and talk separately and talk together to get to the bottom of it. It's certain things that you can't put nothing past nobody but kids are kids. So this person has some type of view about you in the back of their head anyways. 
that's the part that you're missing. Like, it, it was already there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's never about, man, you believe them over me. You hear so many stories because they want you to taint your, your, your energy. But this person flew off the hinges, wanted to kick you out. Digging up dirt, going through all of this. And she will, will, will make some things look completely different just to teach you a lesson. It's not a, oh, once this clears out, we're going to move forward. No. This all happened for a reason, and that's the part that you got to pay attention to. This person reacted the way that they acted for a reason. It's already something that they think about you. How can you even remotely feel normal again around this person when after all of this? Because these people are already in your business. Yeah, transformation. You're going to be able to restore your bond with your kids. But your character. To you, you're like, man, man, you're trying, to, you're trying to destroy me. Nobody can destroy your character. Your character is what you exude. Your reputation. That's how other people see you. That's going to change frequently. And if you care so much about what other people say, then you, you, you don't have good character. I'm going to say that again. If you care so much about your reputation or what people have to say, you do not have good character. Can't have both. See, a person's thought of you is, is an illusion in their head by something that, you know, they've been taught to look at things a certain type of way. Completely different than what you've been taught to look at these things. And therefore, they create this persona in their head based on you. Your thought process have nothing to do with me. But my character has everything in the world to do with me. The reason that things are unfolding and, and coming together, because you're moving on. I feel like you could go into another relationship. They're going to be trying to reach out to your partner. Telling them what happened. But the bottom line is, this is your fault. Cross watcher or Taurus. Or whoever with Taurus in a prominent placement in their child. It's your, your, your fault. This person just didn't fly off the hinges like this for the first time. Mm -mm. There have been some character flaws in this person. And you continue to deal with this person. Codependency, maybe you needed them. Let's clarify codependency. Maybe you needed this person. Maybe, maybe, you know, this person was always there for you, but they already had a character flaw. Did you deserve for this person to be there for you? You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 I need you to tap into this because this is a serious matter. And when I see something like this being a professional parent, it upsets me. It, is, it upsets me because you don't deserve this. You don't deserve this. You're innocent. Whoever this is, if you're cross-watching and wanting to know how something... They're innocent. They're innocent. I don't care what you've seen in your head. They're fucking innocent. So, you have to weigh your options. And that's leaving this person alone. Yes, clear your name. Clear your name. You only get, you, you know, you get more than one of them. I don't know who told them that shit, but, you know, I got a few. <laughs> clear your name. Codependency. Yeah, codependent on this relationship here. You are the only person that, 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 that puts up with them, that they feel properly loves them, that... They feel like they can get anywhere. But do you deserve for them to be there for you all of the times that they were? No, you don't. Because you know you wasn't a good person to this person, but they're codependent on you. You codependent on the assistance or the help that they need. This is oh, this is a relationship. Someone doesn't wanna someone doesn't wanna go through the pain 
of the healing process here. Someone doesn't want to feel like they put in so much time in a situation and it turned out bad, so they were conflicted. Like, well, maybe if I was with this person for a long time, then it's, it's for a reason. Yeah, because it's, it's a karmic. When you, when you tell me soulmate, 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 you can have a soulmate. That don't mean that you're supposed to stay with them forever. It's a karmic soulmate. You know, it's, it's all types of forms of soulmates. I see you flourishing. There you go. Single. Moving on. Choosing you is your justice, is your wake-up call. Choosing you, doing what's right for you, things going in your favor. I told you they was innocent. Justice is going in their favor. Whatever, whatever is going in your favor, it's going. You, you're going to be vindicated. And now you know that you can't, you can't play no more. You cannot play with this person anymore. Now, you can do whatever you want to do. You can do whatever you want to do, right? You can do whatever you want to do. It's not going to turn out the, the best of your favor. See, we talk a lot about people being in situations that they don't deserve to be in. And we talk a lot about people being caught up in stuff that they don't deserve to be caught up in, right? Here's the flip side to that. When spirit is nudging you to move from a situation, move out of a situation, or to let somebody go, spirit has been nudging you for a very long time, showing you the light. Some of y'all slower than others, so, you know, some of y'all get a little extra time from spirit, you know, to get your stuff together. You, you might got a couple of years. You know, you pull away. You're not paying attention. That life is going, and life is doing what it got to do, you know. Life is life, and you run right back to this energy. You run right back into energies of people that you shouldn't, you shouldn't deal with, right? So, now, here's your past. You got out of this situation. Here's your past. Yeah. God-given past. Here's your past. If you continue to deal with this person, there may be a situation that comes about next. You probably will be um, innocent. Or whatever the case may be, but you will not get out of it. Not because only the innocent goes down, but this is because you. this is your final message from your spirit guides. Telling you to leave whatever this is alone. You ain't got to listen. Don't worry. My website will be up. Click my description box in any of my videos. Go to my website. Book a personal reading. You don't have to believe me. This is a very specific message. If you don't walk away this time, you're not going to get out of it easy next time. You figure it out. Hashay, Tars.